Seen you for a while. <laughs> Almost every time now, right? like to call this uh, meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals tonight to order. We have several agenda items. Uh, I'm going to take one out of sequence because it should be a fairly quick disposition. It's listed under 80 other under business uh, and has to do with case 18-16, 17 Lynetta Lane, where we granted a permit for a accessory apartment back on August 7th of 2018 and they are in here this evening requesting an extension. We received a written request for that. I'd like to read it into the record. Written by Steve King from SJK Construction. I would like to request an extension to the special permit granted for an accessory apartment at 17 Lynetta Lane. As the new builder and owner of this property, I expect to have the foundation completed by the expiration date, but would like the extension as insurance in case the closing or permitting takes longer than expected. I do plan to attend the ZPA meeting. Thank you, Steve King. He also, or we also have a, another uh, memo on this case uh, submitted to us stating, due to health concerns with one of the S and L partners, we are requesting an extension on the special permit issued on October 3rd, 2018, case number in Lanetta Lane. We are in the process of the project due to the aforementioned health concerns. The extension of the permit will allow us to proceed with the project. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bill Lombard, manager of SNL Homes, LLC, 10 Middlesex Avenue, Unit 1 in Wilmington, Massachusetts. Uh, you're here representing them, I guess. I am. I'm Bill Lombard, SNL Homes. Okay. Could you just fill us in a little bit more before we... Uh, yes, as you uh, mentioned, um, due to the health situation with my partner, um, we saw fit to sell the property. Gentlemen approached us and they were willing to take over the project and uh, continue it to get it done. We're going for the extension for the special permit. So, um, hoping to get six months, maybe a year extension if we could. Anyone have any questions on the board? Um, I just have a point of clarification. I don't know if this would be for Mark or be for Andrew or uh, under 5474 um, the accessory apartment. If terms and or conditions of any special permit for accessory apartments are not satisfied within one year of its issuance, special permit shall be null and void. Now, the special permit um, has always been issued to the individual who then creates the accessory apartment and registers it, but it would have to go through, I as believe, the building commissioner, inspector, uh, before he can get the permits to, to do so, the building permits. 
question here is when you're doing that you're changing um, the initial special permit which was designated not to a site but to an individual and that would be transferred so I don't I'm not sure where to go from this particular situation um, I don't know what the legalities are um, how that is done We've never had one that was transferred to a different ownership prior to um, the building of the structure or the building of the accessory apartment so that's my only question so any comment to that mark if you defer to andrew for two minutes so i can catch up then um okay. that'd be appreciated andrew? i didn't know I'll john was going to ask that question <laughs> <laughs> okay I believe there have been cases of it in the past, and so it is an acceptable, maybe not at this board, but uh, oh, okay. MGL, that it is an acceptable transfer. Special mm. So if, sorry, well, sorry. Go ahead. So if a special permit's issued for an accessory apartment, and then they sell the house, it's not a new special permit. The special permit transfers with the dwelling, and then they have to notify the building inspector that it's still going to be used in the same format, and then any violations will, of course, be taken care of that way. So, go ahead. Well, the, the original building inspector was issued to... Um, well, that's a... I was going to say it's to... SNL Homes LLC. Right, it's a corporation. And, and, and corporation, and that... that when they come to you uh, for the building permit, they have to record that. Now, it hasn't been recorded because we haven't got that far yet, and the one year has expired, so you're asking the for one an year, extension. The one year has not been expired yet. It's, well, the, 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 the point being, we're asking for a transfer. Um, so you're going to, is the new no, one no, no, going to no. have? So the point being is, they, SNL already has the special permit. They're asking for an extension of that special permit, which they may transfer in the future. Just like if a homeowner had the special permit for accessory apartment, yeah. Yeah. if they sell the home, right. then that would transfer. So the extension is is still to SNL home. To Correct. SNL. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm a little bit lost in that but I'll go with uh, whatever the recommendations are I just I I find it very difficult when you issue to one party uh, and the party wants, wants an extension which is basically saying you can't meet the deadline uh, and you sell the sell that you're selling it before it is finished so you're not transferring anything um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not an attorney, so I don't know how you transfer something that does not exist at the present time. Well, it's almost the same thing. If if SNL has it and they don't have a buyer for the home yet, they still have the special permit, and then the buyer of the home is getting the transfer of that special permit, even though they're no party to the procedures that when they got the original special permit. So it's convoluted sideways. It is. <laughs> it is. And I hope we don't run into any more of these. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I think I understand it. Basically, it's just an extension to SNL. The, uh, the other letter that we got, which is from SJK Construction, yeah. really is not a party to the extension right now. No, it's they're SNL. not. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. SNL is getting the extension. Right. They're the original ones that were in the special permit. Right up here. And the other question I had now, everything is still going to be built according to oh, the God. conditions of the special permit, correct? You know, we, we, we want to get the special permit. It should have, you know, but something should happen and they don't buy it. Right. Now right. we still have right. Something could happen down the road and it, yeah. the, this sale falls through and it may be another... But we do have them right now under contract. Right. Everything keeps going well, you know. I'm, I'm but sure. the, um, yes, they're going to build the exact same house to the same specs. Yep. Okay. 
Nick, do you have any? Yeah, I think, uh, I think the SJK letter provides context as to why you need the extension, but I still look at it as, you know, it's SNL Homes, it's the original applicant. Um, the letter you know, mentions health conditions, and I would see just, you know, giving the original applicant that one-year extension. Um, I don't think SJK has much, in my view, to do with granting it. Okay. The only question I have is, you haven't stated how long an extension you want. I'd like to get a year. Huh? One year? One year. Okay. Which is negotiable. Okay. Uh, I will open it up for public comment. Is there anyone here who wants to comment on this case? And I'll close the public portion of this meeting, and I would entertain the motion to accept the request for extension to for one year. So moved. Okay. Uh, no. Second. I'll second that. Yeah. All in favor? Four zero zero. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, I think I think you have to write something on this. You do. We can write. You gonna write it? Up? You gonna start doing that? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 Bless you. Okay, then I'll ask someone here. Bob, would you like to write up? I, the I will write that up. I, can. I will thing? write it up. Ariada, right? Okay. I, th I thought uh, we were looking at it was being taken away from us here. The writing of decisions. <laughs> Probably. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's I send you the draft of the last extension finding. Mm -hmm. Build up right. with that. Uh, the next case we will take up this evening is. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I will not read the public hearing as this case was opened back on uh, June 5th. It was extended, this is the third extension to tonight. Uh, petitioner has submitted a written request to us dated September 27th. It is reading, we have decided to withdraw our variance application without prejudice. Thank you for helping us with this effort. It's signed by who? Kim Floyd. Huh? Kim Floyd. Okay. Yeah, Kim Floyd. Okay. So we have a request before us to... Uh, really? To withdraw from this case without prejudice. Any discussion from anybody on the board on this one? I thought that uh, I, even if they had been present tonight, uh, he would not have gone forward because no. we don't we don't have we don't have five or four boards, so it would have to be four out of four, whether it be a variance or whatever it may be. Right. So he couldn't go forward. Now this is dragged on. Substantially, I'm hoping that um, CPDC and Andrew and um, Julie can um, hopefully uh, rectify some of these issues uh, because um, I think we need an adjustment, more proposed adjustments before uh, town town meeting to modify the. Uh, not just in this issue, but I mean our whole zone issues. That's how we come down. Any other? Okay. That's it. That's it. Then I'll entertain a motion to accept the petitioner's request for withdrawal to on case 19-09 without prejudice. So moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Four zero zero. We'll see. All right.
Moving right along. The next case before us this evening is case 19-19, 259 to 267th and 8th Street. This case was opened back on September 4th and continued to this evening. The board members that reviewed that case uh, on 9-4 were Mr. Jeremy, myself, Mr. Redford, and Mr. Bernice. The other one was Mr. Hagstrom, and he is not here tonight, so you are here. I think you know this. I do. Any action on this thing tonight uh, will be enough for a member of vote. And uh, I think you indicated you wanted to move forward with that, at least to the point of getting through this thing. Uh, I, would re I would remind people that when we reviewed this thing back on the 4th of September, it was continued so that we could refer the situation to town and town council, if necessary, to determine how to handle it and, and what kind of a decision would, would, would it take to, to do that. <coughs> And we have, I understand, we have before us this evening a draft of a decision, which is my understanding, and you can clarify me, and you and Andrew, that it was put together <coughs> by Andrew and <coughs> who else at town? Julie Mercier and Josh. Okay, and, and you, really. So I guess I'll turn the, floor, turn the floor over to you so that you can kind of walk us through what's transpired since then and let us a little bit in on this thing, okay? Certainly. Thank you. I, I will say that this was this draft was mailed around to the board mm -hmm. in advance of the meeting, so we have had an opportunity to redo it, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, Attorney Josh Latham here tonight on behalf of Stonegate Construction. I'm continuing our hearing from September 4th. As you may recall, uh, during that hearing, our presentation was requesting three alternative uh, levels of relief. The first was a potential variance. The second was a special permit under 7.2 of the bylaws. And the third was a determination. Um, I believe in, in the discussions that the board had last time that the sense was that the board was leaning towards the idea of a special permit over the concept of a variance or a determination. Um, in speaking with town staff, uh, we really work cooperatively to come up with a proposed draft decision on the basis of a special permit as opposed to a variance or determination. Um, really within that decision, the concept being that there is a, a pre-existing non-conforming use by way of this commercial parking area that extends within the S15 district, which has existed there for decades. Uh, the idea that with the redevelopment of the A40 district portion of the site, which is as of right, to build a 24 unit residential apartment or condominium building that we would simply ask for this portion of the existing pre-existing non-conforming commercial parking lot and storage area to become multifamily residential accessory parking instead the argument is thus that it's really less non-conforming than a commercial oil delivery company's parking and storage yard where you may have heavy trucks and other things stored back there. This is actually more consistent with an S15 use, a residential use. So on that basis, um, the board would have to find that that use is not substantially more detrimental than the existing commercial use of that area. And in making that finding, you have the discretion to grant a special permit to allow us to change from the commercial use to the multifamily residential use. Uh, the use we're proposing is as shown on the plan that was submitted. It's really within the area shown. Um, and then it would be subject to CPDC and Conservation Commission to approve the design and layout of what that would look like within that area. Um, so that's really where we are at this point um, as to where this, this draft came from. And again, we're here this evening uh, with our engineer and the applicant to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Mark, uh, I assume you've had the opportunity to go through this draft? Um, I have not. Okay, all right. I am stealing a copy now and read it as we speak. Okay. Aside from that, do you have any comments at all? This I point? do not. Okay. All right, Nick, I'll start with you. I just had a few brief comments. I, I reviewed the draft. Nothing really stuck out. Um, looks like there's a few extra conditions than our typical conditions. 
Um, I agree that a special permit seems to be the best way to go. I don't think the project's any more detrimental, and I think it's consistent with the neighborhood character. Nothing. All right, Bob. Yeah, I, I agree with Mark. <coughs> I, I read through it. If you ask Nick, I didn't have any markups on the uh, draft as I read through it. You tell me, these guys did a pretty good job. And, and I, 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 I would agree that uh, I, I think the special permit is, is, has a strong argument uh, through the uh, bylaw uh, section 7.2 in that it's a less intrusive use of that parcel. That's that that's now being used commercially, and it'll be now being used residentially for parking. And uh, I certainly believe that it uh, will not be substantially more detrimental. And I think a key word there is substantial. It will not be substantially more detrimental than what's there now. Yeah. So uh, I would, uh, well, with the special permit under Section 7.2. Thank you. Uh, um, I concur also, uh, the other two board members. Uh, <coughs> however, um, one of the we presented to us, uh, Josh, uh, we were asking, or you were asking for 12 additional spaces. The 12 additional spaces have been left out on this uh, revision. Um, and I think along with, since we are going to address the architectural as well as the um, site plan that you proposed initially, we probably need to go back to that and insert that 12 additional parking spaces. Um, that's the only comment that I have, but I think uh, that's much more of an uh, appropriate use of the property. Um, and it certainly would, as Bob said, substantially uh, be less interference uh, to both uh, the neighbors as well as the um, um, as well as the, the traffic flow on 28 uh, but I would like to see um, that 12 inserted back into the set of plans that we originally talked about last last time we met well we haven't changed the plans have we we've not changed the plans the plans say 12. Um, so the plans should reflect 12 within the area that we're discussing. Uh, the only reason that we didn't list a condition of the number was that when we know we go to CPDC and with conservation, and we just that's, didn't know what that would be. That's what bothers me a little bit. That mm -hmm. The 12 might become 24. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, not the same set of conditions that the board uh, reviewed. Uh, and I assume that the um, planning staff, I, I mean, you haven't been addressing it yet, but um, I don't want that to get to a situation where that becomes a, an issue for contention down the road. We, we, from our perspective, we'd have no objection to no more than 12. Um, we know it might end up being less, but we, and we also recognize if we do get a permission or approval from CPDC and it, it requires more, we would have to come back to this board at that time. And at that point, you'd still have to either adjust this permit or deny us. So if, if 12 is a cap would work, that, that works for us as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking at how the rest of the board feels about it. Okay. Uh, are you suggesting putting that as a condition in there? Mm -hmm. Amending it? Okay. Well, I would have no problem with no more than 12 rather than putting 12 in. Mm. That's the old problem. Yeah. I was just looking to see if they were referencing the documentation that was reviewed with us at the 9th meeting. And finally, it's the first one. The petition makes the area depicted in the plan entirely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, it's fine. I don't, I don't have any problem yeah. putting it in. So, so maybe maybe, maybe we just take that first condition, and when we make reference to the plan, you just indicate that the plan shows twelve spaces. 
in that first condition. Okay. All right. You've had a chance to review it now. <laughs> um, yeah. I have no comments. I, I mean, I don't want to muddy the waters. All I want to say is that on a zoning standpoint that a multiple parking lot is not an accessory use in an S15 zone. S15 zones are single family zones, which means parking for one, two, three cars. So that's my only comment. But it's not to mean that I'm against the project. It's just a matter of fact or a point of order. Did you say that one more time, Mark? I was just disrupted by it. I forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, you know, just for the record that, in my opinion, a multiple parking space lot in an S15 zone is not permitted. S15 zone is single family housing. So it's not an accessory use to an S15 zone. It may be an accessory use to the proposed use in the A40, but it's not for the S15. But I'm not against it, I'm just clarifying. Yeah, I, 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 I think in this particular case, correct me if we're um, um, misleading you or anything, but I think in this particular case we're looking at it that this has been grandfathered by the commercial use that was using that area now. And we're going, we're looking at it as a less intensive use mm -hmm. with residential. I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We haven't, we haven't changed the zoning. We just allowed right. my special permit up to 12 cars being parked in. Okay. I, I, I say we just leave it at that. That's fine. Okay. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I would like at this time to open up this case to public comment. Does anyone here wish to comment on this case? Okay, seeing no one wanting to do that, I will close that portion of the case. Is there any further comment from the board? Uh, okay, I, we, and it is written in the decision here. It's obviously, this is going to have to be modified a bit uh, because they're going to have to, if the special permit goes forth, Right. We have to withdraw the request for the variance, as noted in the decision. I think that, uh, or, or, or a determination, or a deter yeah. and also the determination. I don't know if that has to be withdrawn. That request for a determination, but there's three things that they originally well, asked for. Technically, it I should, think so. Both should, should be done. done. Yeah, and I think it can all just be added to the same decision. Exactly. At the tail end, yeah. And, and we would make the, the motion sure. or request that the board. I recognize our request to withdraw the variance and the determination uh, petitions without prejudice. Right. Part of that can all be put into the, I think into the, the decision. The decision already. Yeah. yeah, I think it can be modified very okay. easily. Just add those points in there. Okay. We, we, we could we could move on this sure. tonight based oh, yeah. on the addition on the changes that have been proposed. Exactly. Yeah. So, is there any other further comment from the? A comment from the board, and I'll entertain a motion to accept this uh, draft decision uh, with uh, conditions to be added uh, based upon what we have discussed. Well, I, I, and I can okay. state them if you want. Okay. Uh, no, I. What I would do is I, I would move to grant, you know, the special permit, not the decision, but grant a special okay. permit. All right. Uh, to the applicant under section 7.2 of the Reading bylaws in order to uh, construct up to a 12 car parking area outside the or in the S15 zone as depicted on the plan so noted uh, there. And I was looking for the plan references. And yeah, the, the plan reference being the uh, uh, Zoning Board of Appeals plan prepared by Hancock Associates, stamped and dated August 6, 2019. For parking loaded in driveways, accessory to the proposed multifamily residential use of the A40 district portion of the property. Uh, so that's up to 
12 spaces on that in the S15 zone. Mm -hmm. So if we can, and we'll modify that, or yep. Andrew will get it modified, I think. We have a second for that? Second. Okay. All in favor? Zero, zero. zero. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Josh, should we have a set of plans in the folder? Do you have a copy of the plans? Yes, we did submit some. I have some. Should have gotten some. Except for the one small piece. I have a large pop here. That's that's probably the one you'd want to stamp so Yeah. And get back to Josh. <coughs> Andrew, we have a duplicate set of plans. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah, mm -hmm. And this is for the farm. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I don't know if you're in there, but if you're not in there, they're probably. Actually, it's easier to do it. I'm just going to spend all night doing it. Case before us this evening is 19 23 11 Nugent Lane. You are, have submitted an application uh, to do more work at your property. I'm going to read the legal notice into the record. Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Select Board's meeting room at Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, October 2nd, 7 p.m., on the application of Brian Learned, pursuant to NGL <coughs> Law, Chapter 40A, Section 9, for a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw Sections 7.0, 7.3, and 7.3.2, to construct a new covered front porch with a non-conforming front yard setback onto an existing non-conforming dwelling on the property located at 11 Nugent Lane in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there's an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters are notified, as were the following, Select Board, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, Members, associate members of the Board of Appeals, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commissions, Assessor's Office, and CPDC, as well as the 
Mining boards are Wakefield, Linfield, North Riding, Stone, and Woburn and Wellington. Mr. Morgan, before this board is taken under oath, so if you'd like to speak, please stand and raise your right hand. I swear the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, all truth, nothing about the truth. I do. I do. Okay, thank you. Uh, you must be Brian Lurk. I am. Okay, we'll turn the floor over to you and tell us what you want to do here. So I am here to request permission to uh, essentially make a design change to an existing project that's already been approved. Uh, I was here about two months ago for a special permit uh, to build an addition onto my home. Uh, in doing so, we've made a, a minor late uh, design change where we're going to move our entranceway uh, from where it is now uh, to the right. Um, so we're going to remove a platform step and, and put in a new four by six step. We're here requesting permission to do that. And the reason we're here requesting permission, or I'm here requesting permission, is because uh, the house itself uh, sits uh, in non-conformance to the existing 20-foot setback. Uh, if you recall, um, uh, we described this previously where we, uh, the house was actually there before the road, uh, Nugent Lane. Uh, so we're, we're somewhat um, uh, bound by that, by that initial design. Uh, from, I believe, the early 1990s, and uh, we were told that even this uh, minor change would require a uh, special permit approval to, uh, to um, basically move the front stairway. So we're going to remove a platform step, uh, which shows on the existing plot plan, and uh, put a four by six step to the right, so we're going to change the entranceway. Um, there's really no major uh, change to lot coverage. Um, and it is no more detrimental than any, any of the existing nonconformities on the property. Uh, so we are requesting permission to do that. And again, the, the work itself, uh, the addition and the permit uh, has, has already been granted. This is somewhat of a, a late, late design change. Any comments? Yes, Mark? I agree with everything he said. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any comment from you? I think the applicant and Mark make a strong case. Uh, I agree with them. Okay, well, that's it. I, I, I do actually strongly agree with the applicant. I think, um, you know, I see at one point you were 22 feet away from the street and then the <coughs> street curves into the front of your property and you lose a lot of your setback. Um, so I don't, I understand what you're doing. I don't have any other comments about it. Uh, yeah, I, I would agree with Nick and the uh, building inspector. I don't see any issue with this. Uh, certainly will not be any more detrimental to the neighborhood, and I believe it would fall under bylaw section 7.3.2. Uh, in order to and basically what they do, relocating the front door and the four by six step there. Uh, certainly not increase, uh, you know, based on the plan, etc. They're certainly not increasing or, or any more of the non-conformity that's already there. Uh -huh. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it, <clears throat> I think I think you had mentioned that uh, you're you're modifying as you're putting. The proposal together, you've modified it a little bit so that it required you moving the, the doorway over. So, by doing that, uh, as we're seeing in the original construction plan, so, uh, and it's not going to be any more detrimental than what's there right now. So, so you're just point of clarification. You've already started the previous approved construction. You've taken out that one garage and you're making that into a, a mud room or something. Okay, and this is that door. There's a door there. That's the door you're talking about. Yes. So we we are. Um, it is. We just essentially what we're asking for is to be able to put a step there, right? So that door, a step, a yeah. step, yeah, and that's the four by six step that was added to the plot plan. The door exists now. The door was approved as part of the original uh, project and plan submitted. We want to put a covered step there. And in doing so, we're, we were 
essentially going to remove the existing platform step mm -hmm. in the existing entrance that's to the left of that. But the door, to your to your point, the mudroom and the door was part of the existing application and, and plan submitted back, uh, actually case 1915, uh, a couple months ago. That's correct. And that makes it compliant with one of the conditions of the accessory apartment site. Right? They actually have a couple improvements going on now. One is to remodel the existing, uh, to create the new mudroom and remodel the existing garage, and they got the special permit from the new for the new garage. And now this another one. Baby steps. All right, I will <laughs> open it. Open it up to public opinion, and since there's no one here, I'll close it uh, right away. Uh, if there's any further, no further comments from the board, Nick, would you like this? I can make a motion. Um, make a motion on this one. I move to grant the petitioner uh, Ryan Learned a special permit under section 7.0, 7.3, and 7.32 to construct a new covered front porch with a with a non-conforming front yard setback onto an existing non-conforming dwelling at the property located at 11 Nugent Lane in Reading, Mass. As shown on the certified plot plan, plan prepared and certified by Sullivan Engineering, Debbie John Sullivan, and that would be the revised plot plan dated 9 uh, Special permit is subject to the following additions. A petition is self submitted to the building inspector a certified plot plan of the proposed construction and proposed foundation plans prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. The petitioner's final construction plans for the new structure shall be submitted to the building inspector along with the as-built foundation plans prior to the issuance of a building permit and the as-built plans showing the completed construction shall be submitted to the building inspector immediately after the work is completed and prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. Second. Second. Second, second sir. All in favor? Route 400. Stand by, I'll give you things remaining, a couple of sets of minutes, September 4th or September 18th. Oh, excuse me, uh, I know it. Let's take September. Uh, this is the first time we've seen these, right? Yes. I can't yes. recall getting drafts of mail or, or an email or anything. No. I didn't see anything. Um, should we? One of them. We got one, one, two, three, That's four, first time. four page, first time. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to suggest that we maybe you want to take, take them home with us, review take them, them and then uh, review them and come them back uh, October 16th with our comments. Is sure. that all right? Mm -hmm. That's my suggestion. suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You want to put them on the agenda for uh, October 16th? 16th. 16th. Yeah. Okay. 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 What do we have in the uh, meantime for the 16th now? Well, on the 16th. <laughs> oh, <rough. laughs> <laughs> on the 16th, you will have one of the continuate. So you will notice you did not get any packets for the October 16th meeting because one, most of the cases are continuations. 104 Salem Street, which we expect will either continue again or withdraw. We've been working with them offline to see what we can work out. Mark and Julie have been doing that. They're pretty close, I believe, to an agreement. 
26 green will be here as a continuation. You've got it, the. It will be here because I don't like here. to see them here. We've had too many continuations. Yeah. So, um, so they will be here. You've got those latest plans, I believe, what was the September 4th meeting? I want to say you got those packets. I'm going to have to go back and look at mine because I don't think, uh, I don't remember getting. I got, yeah, there was a package that was distributed yes. to September okay, 4th. Yeah. I kept mine. Did everybody, did everybody keep theirs? Yeah, for, for, if you don't, we'll have to get you another one. For, for what was this now? I'm sorry. Green Street. Green Street. Green Street. Green Street. I Green think Street. I have it all. Yeah, I think. Uh, I kept mine. and I. I just, yeah, I have uh, the two notices and I think mm -hmm. the two packets are all here. Yeah. yeah. I think okay. I'm all, all right. set. Well, yeah. if you don't have it, John. If you don't have it, I'll happily yeah. give you another. I'll check and see what's in here. I'll email them as yeah. well to you guys, just in case. We have, we have that. I believe 10. I will check who are the voting members on 26 yeah. Green Street. Yeah, 104 sure Salem. Yep. And 26 Green. There's two for 26 oh, oh, oh. Green. Yep. And then you will have 101 Willow Street, which is an appeal of the CPDC site plan review decision, similar to Meadowbrook um, that you saw earlier this year, I believe, the golf club appeal yeah, of the there. site plan. Um, you don't have plans for that because I have not heard back from the applicant, the appeal, the appellant as of yet. Um, we scheduled it because Austin Prep needs to move forward if they are approved for these plans. Um, so I had asked the appellant for the site plans, the memos from the town engineer, from planning, from conservation that were all reviewed at the site plan review um, discussion by CPDC. Have not heard back. Um, so I am as of right now, not sure what to expect on the 16th, um, but we will go forward as if it were a hearing. So What's your request for that? So that was an appeal based on the, um, I believe it was, CPDC decision. It was the CPDC decision. They have a new number of factors for the reason of their appeal mostly related to what looked like environmental concerns. So I'm not sure what happened to the conservation order of conditions. That was not appealed. Uh, we do know it was not appealed, so. So what you're really saying is that more than, more than likely we're looking for another continuance. I will get back to you on that because Austin Prep seems to find they have no ground and we have not heard back from the appellant so I don't know what that means if we don't get a request for a continuance so I have to I believe town council will be there to help guide us on how to proceed with this well my question would be if the petitioner does request a continuance is the has Austin Prep have any standing to move that forward for us to hear that? Austin Prep really has no say. It would be a mutual agreement between you and the appellant. Austin Prep, I'm sure, will be here just to state their case um, and what they went through and all the review and their engineer. But they would not have any say on if you guys elected to continue the case or not, I believe so. So it is scheduled, so we're going to hear we're going to hear something then. Right. Okay. Right. And if the appellant is not, I'm sure Austin will be so to at least okay. present their case. Okay. Um, so that's that. Okay. I will send. I can forward because it is public record. It was filed with the town clerk. I can forward the actual appeal, of the decision, and their grounds for such. Um, that's all I have, so. And on staff writing decisions, it is being explored. But as of right now, there are no changes. Um, but we are exploring the potential and the idea of it because we understand your concerns. And 
the turnover that could potentially happen and quorum issues. Um, not that we've had quorum issues, but um, it is being explored. So I've drafted templates for myself to explore, um, but I still have to get approval by my higher ups because they are on vacation. So. <laughs> As of now, nothing has changed until further notice, <laughs> and you will continue. So that goes to Julie, then to Jean, and then to Bob. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, we'll see what happens. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so you're going to write up the uh, I will continuation write up of the Lenovo extension. Lane. Yeah, the extension and, of the special uh, permit. And uh, Main Street. And what? Oh, Main Street's already done. That's already done. Main Street is done. It's already done. I will edit that. Yeah. Um, and reflect that as you have amended okay. and let you know when that is done. I'll forward the final to the that board. Good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I will. I I can help on the extension request. Like I said, I can either forward the. I can write Okay, I'll forward the previous extension just so you have something to work off of. And then. You had made the motion to grant for Nugent you Lane. Right the other one. Yep, Nugent Street. Yep. Nugent Lane. Nugent Lane, yep. Now, as far as the withdrawal without prejudice, uh, if that probably should be right, documented. Right, 55 too. Walkers Brook Drive, which is withdrawn without prejudice. Did you make that motion, Bob? No, John made the motion, I believe. I think I seconded it. Bob, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We'll look at that. Yep. <laughs> keep it simple, John. I'm going to write that one. <laughs> we'll work on that. You want to work on that? Yeah. Oh, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yeah. Yep. Don't send us for you. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. yeah. Don't meetings. embellish. Okay. <laughs> so you want minutes yeah. before the hearings. You want them emailed to you. Try to email them to you before the hearings so you can review them. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think you got it. Okay. Yep. I have mean, nothing more to talk about. I'll lift it in a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Good. Hey. Listen, now, 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 there's a lot of business we can't transact with. Yeah, uh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, do I need to talk to Kyle? Try to. I have tried. I have I think, called. I think it's either I four or emailed. five times in a row that he hasn't been. I believe here. this is the third oh, yeah, or fourth. Yeah. And I know he was thinking about, you know, right. because of his workload and right. teaching. He and if he would at work. least get back to me that he won't be at a few hearings, that would be appreciated. But I have had no correspondence. I have shot multiple emails. I have phone called. Amanda has phone called. We have had no reply. So I do not know where that stands, and I am not 100% sure of the protocol of how to move forward if he wishes to step down or not, so. Well, I'm just kind of thinking maybe it needs a little help to make a decision. That's right. All. I mean, you can't just leave it open-ended. Right. And you can't, never show up. I can't leave it open-ended, and again, yeah, like you said, yeah. It's not in the best interest of the board. Well, it's not. Actually, uh, the assistant town manager would be a, a yes. an email or something from the assistant town manager. Yeah. yeah. Just be a, be probably appropriate. Yep. Oh, so when so she gets back. Yeah. Like either four or five. I don't know. Maybe yeah. It is. So when Jean gets back from vacation, we're hoping yeah. to discuss it with yeah. her and how to move forward. Um, but that will be after next week. So this may happen again at the October 16th hearing. I can't say for sure. So, okay. After next week. After next week. Okay. Super. Thank you. Thank Very you, guys. Good. Thank you all. Thank you. You did a lot tonight, John. A lot more, guys. A lot quicker than we got a lot done, yeah. You never, you never Nobody, know when uh, you're happy, you know? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> I think you did at least two hours. Right? <laughs> you never oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> it goes quick sometimes.